And we're back. Cal and Boone have just finished off a little escapade into the Helios 1 solar power plant. Got it back up and running. And may or may not have set off an alarm of unknown origin or as to what it is alarming about. But that is behind them now. And it is now time to move forward onto our hero's quest to find those who have wronged him. And our next lead takes them to Boulder City. Well, Boone, um, hopefully they heed my warning regarding that tower and they don't go traipsing through in any case. If they do, I am not to be held responsible for their poor actions and decision making. Even if I might have been the one that set off that alarm. Can't run from me. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, nope, nah, that's shitty. Okay. Um, note to self. Where is... There it is. Uh, vipers. Hmm. Oh! Thank you. And, of course I am. Over-encumbered is my way of life. And they don't have a trading post there. All right, get over here, Boone. What is it? Uh, it is time for you to once again shoulder my burden. Fine by me. Damn. Or not. Uh, disregard. Uh, let's see what we can repair. And... This is a constant thorn in our side, isn't it, Boone? Ooh. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but yeah. Let's do that. Repair. Ooh. Yes. All right, we're getting there. We're getting close. Um. Well. Not as bad off. Ooh, I can repair this though. Yeah. All right. Ooh. I forgot I had this gun. I like it. Don't have a lot of ammo for it though. So we'll stick with that one. Um. What were we talking about, Boone? Before we were accosted by gun wielding psychos. Hello. Don't shoot. I mean, no harm. Who are you? Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will do anything to feel safe. Mm-hmm. Why don't you just go head on back there and, uh... Be their sheriff. Or something, I don't know. Take that, though. El Dorado Gas Station. You see, Boone, we're, we're still in sight of the power plant, and we've been distracted again. I hope that is not a deal breaker. Uh, this is a little disappointing. Gun cabinet? Not sure what a 22 is going to really be very useful for outside of just angering whatever we shoot with it. But, uh, sure, why not? It's silenced. Not that we have a great habit of being sneaky. What do we got? Uh, I'll take it. Well, all in all, Boone, wasn't a complete waste. 
All right. Interesting. Must resist the urge to run off in the exact opposite way I'm supposed to be headed to investigate a concrete building. Oh, that is a tough one. Um, all right, Boone, I need you to make me a promise. No matter what the distraction might be, you need to keep me. You already failed. You've already failed your duty, Boone. A caravan surrounded by ants. What do we got here? Oh, I wonder if this is a... What was her name? Cassidy? Cass? The one that was drinking her sours away over at the Mojave outpost? Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe they were just unlucky enough to be a killed by the ants. Which is probable based on the fact that they were pretty well uh, defleshified. Oh, hello. You look friendly. Lonesome drifter. Howdy there, partner. It's a very uh, high quality guitar you got there for a desert wasteland. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Uh, it took a potentially sad and dark turn. How long have you been playing? Just about my whole life. Ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. Ah. Well, you told me a little bit, but, I mean, not to cry or anything, seeing as we only just met. But... What's your story? My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. I have a strange compulsion to ask anyways. You seem like a very... I don't know. You're not like most people I've met. And... I don't have anywhere super pressing to be. Put an asterisk about... Right about that one. Uh, tell me anyways. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much ever since my pa up and left. Uh, okay. Uh, not to dig into what could potentially be a, uh, scar. Touchy subject. But he just up and left you? That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. I mean... Does he happen to be the reason you're out here alone, wandering the Mojave? I mean... Took some things from him, it seems. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. Fair enough, I feel that. I mean... Uh, I don't know. I feel like sometimes that's for the benefit. If he seemed distance and just up and left, you were able to make your own mark. Not have to live up to certain ideals. I suppose there's that. But a man ought to know his own paw. And yeah. a woman oughtn't to have to work herself to an early grave to provide for her family. Fair. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my paw and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. What are your thoughts of what you'll do when you do find him? If you find him? Can't say as I really know. 
Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Por que no los dos? You could just do it, both of them. Ask him why after you punch him in the mouth. And then he'll probably ask you why you punched him. Because he probably won't recognize you. So it's taking a very dark and sad turn. I'm going to stop here. I don't know. He could just, you know, be dead out in the middle of the desert somewhere. Ripped apart by ants. Could just kind of move on. Settle down. Maybe find a gig with that guitar. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Can't say that I do at the moment. But you seem like a nice enough guy. I can keep my ear to the ground for you. I mean, there is a sort of casino. It's not exactly getting a lot of tourism right now. Back a ways. Is that prim? Prim. Um, but I am headed in a general direction towards the strip, so maybe they have something too. Ah, uh, well, it was worth a shot. Well, if I come across anything, and I'm in the area, I'll let you know. So long, friend. Nice gun. Nice guy. And we were... Well, there's Vegas. Uh, I think we go up this way and... Go... That way. I don't know. You're supposed to know more about this than me, Boone. You're more... Well-traveled. <gasps> yes, merchant. Come here. Save me of my affliction. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, yes. I need to offload a bunch of stuff and take your money. Sure. Here's what I've got. Cool. What do you have? Bladed gauntlet. Nothing terribly interesting there. Nope. Eh. I'm well set there. Grenade launcher? No. Nope. Ammo? Nothing. Well, you have things. Nothing useful to me right now. But, I'm sure that I have maybe some stuff in here that'll be useful to you. And you have 2,000 caps. Nice. You got 556. I have a lot of that. Okay. Anyways, focus. Uh, varmint rifle. Don't need. Uh, I'll hang on to it. Eh. Hang on to it. These are what? Heavy? I think is the accurate term that I'm looking for. I don't use these. Maybe I should, but I don't like the idea of blowing myself up. So, maybe I'll hang on to those at least for robots. Binoculars. Those are actually useful. Uh, I've already done that. Well, I appreciate the... Actually, actually, there's a fair amount of stuff. Both the money and the... Allowing me to carry more. Okay. Boon. We find ourselves in this situation very frequently, don't we? At a quandary. A fork in the road, if you will. That route, if I am not mistaken, takes us to our destination. We've got a camp out here that has piqued my interest. Now, I know what you're thinking. Didn't these people that you were tracking down shoot you, attempt to kill you, and rob you? Successful on the last part and the first. Not so much on the killing. You would be correct. 
And would you also be right in thinking and saying that if we go that way and have to go back to the strip anyways, we pass through there. There again, my uh, hoppy and jittery friend, you'd be correct that it looks like to get to Vegas, we go through there. But we're right here right now. And it's like uh, right over there. There could be something mysterious and useful there. It could help us in Boulder City. There also could be the chance that there isn't and that we're just continually getting delayed towards my vengeance. I see your point. There's no reason to go. Sometimes I dislike you, Boone. Fine. Older city it is. Isn't the place all bombed out? Blown up? I don't know. One of the two. Whatever the situation was, your guys did a number on it. Ooh, train car. I lose out on something notable there. Right now, Boone. I will hold you accountable. For no real reason. Bol oh, wow. Boulder City is very nearby. Alright, well. I'm not too upset with you then, Boone. Just mildly so. Big Horn Saloon. Not gonna lie. Bird kind of freaked me out for a moment. And we just have a stampeding ramen. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Uh. Hello. Uh, Kowalski? You here to pay your respects to? Um. Uh, what? Uh, please explain. It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. Well, I am sorry to hear that. Is that really the best tactical decision? To defeat the Legion. Lure them into a little town. And sacrifice your own soldiers to blow it up? I mean, I mean I'm not a military general or anything, or strategist. But it seems a little dumb to me. Um, again, uh, not to diminish your brother brother's impact. Uh, I am sorry to hear that he died, sacrificed himself. Don't worry about it. You don't seem too broken up about it. Or it could be that I'm a stranger and you don't really want to divulge emotionally sensitive details and things to me, which makes sense. Uh, where do you happen to be normally stationed? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. Cool story. Bye. Yeah. On this spot, in the year 2277, they could have really done, like, I don't know. They painted the letters black. Or not put such aggressive lighting on it. Something or other, they blew up Legion and were able to hold the dam, or I don't know. Whatever. A saloon. Does it strike you odd that for such a barren, unpopulated site as this, they have a saloon? Why not set up shop by that little camping outpost there? Seems like you get much more traffic and business.
as I said, Boone. Maybe this wasn't the best location for a saloon. But I'm not a business owner, so what do I know? Hello? Civilizing Prim will show what we can do for everyone else in these territories. Sure. A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. I can't imagine why. Maybe because it's out of the way. Blown up might be a big contributing factor to it. But, yeah, what do I know? Tell me about the place. Most of the town is rubble. No destroyed staff. during the Battle of Hoover Dam. Yep. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. Oh, okay. I'm guessing it's used for, like, military projects and stuff. The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Yeah, Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. Yeah, I'll, I haven't explicitly run into overrun cities. I guess Nipton qualifies, so one, but I have run into them quite frequently. They are a right pain in the ass. Um, where does the concrete come from? Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. So that's why they told us not to go north from Good Springs. Good call. Um, yeah. Why don't you just, you know, up and move as well? Yeah, I'm... Bye. Come back real soon. That is a promise I cannot make. Like, really? You could just set up a stand at what I'm gathering they call the 188 over there. And just, like, you know, call it a day. I've been that far. Maybe a mile. Two tops. I guess he does get the benefit of a building. I don't know. Didn't really see any buildings over there. What the hell? I'm not a doctor, but that's a really weird rib cage. Hmm. Maybe we just discovered something new, Boone. Maybe. I'm just going to... Put it out of my mind. And... Focus on more important things. Psh, nothing. Anything of... Uh hell is that? Um, guessing based on proximity to this place, it's probably some sort of NCR. Barracks? Bunker? No. no. It's very decidedly unbunker like But I'm guessing it's something to do with them. Hmm. Alright, well... Not seeing any signs of our buddies. Train stop? Maybe they. Doesn't look like a very functioning train station, but eh, who knows? Or did a. Where's a door? Boulder City train. Okay. Some scorpions in here. Or at least minimum one. Keep an eye out, Boone. Hate those things. Vending machines. Ugh. Disgusting creatures. Oh. Damn it. Ugh. 
What 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 are we sitting at? So I need, yeah, my science is a hot mess, and I am still a ways off from that. I don't suppose you're good with locks and or computers, Boone. You don't strike me the type. How you taunt me. All right. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, maybe there's a section more in the middle of town. Maybe I can find some ranking NCR dude to be like, hey, looking for these people. What do you know? No one else has been useful here. This looks. This looks promising. Hello. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until Do it's been resolved. Now. Out of curiosity, what are the what's the issue that you're running into? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have private Ackerman and private Gilbert as hostages. Sounds like they aren't the uh, cream of the crop. They, if these are the people I'm looking for, uh, might have something in mind. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. What are your plans about your hostages? Acceptable casualties, I've been told. I don't like it, but the brass has their reasons. Maybe because they're kind of stupid and chased them in there without backup. And then promptly got caught in crossfire. That might be something to do with it. I... Could try. Uh, talking to the cons. See if they're willing to negotiate. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack. All right. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Um. I can handle myself. Good luck. Boon. It's happening. Closure is at hand. Alrighty. Well, keep an eye open for bombs. And let's not get shot. Hello? No? No? Just holding the perimeter, huh? Alright. Well. If we're gonna... If we're going to go and negotiate Boone, let's just take a more direct route. Hello! I don't know who you are, but you don't look like one of the men that attacked me. Yeah, he's got himself in a, a jam. Hello. Damn, there are a lot of you. What is that? Oh. Alright. Hi. Don't mind me. Just looking for your boss, Jessup. Guessing he's in here. Don't shoot. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah. Well, I got better. And here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Well, we're gonna have a little chat, Jessup. 
and we'll kind of go from there. First off, where's my chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now laughing at me. It's like four steps forward, Boone, and like 14 backwards. It's so frustrating. Oh. All right. Whew. Deep breaths. Hmm. Woosa. All right. So. We'll deal with the whole NCR thing here in a little bit. I want to focus on you and me first. So. Let's talk. Yeah? On what? Tell me about Benny. Let's start there. He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Tops Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. Fair, fair. I've had one or two uh, incidents, entanglements like that. What do you know about the platinum chip? Anything? You just told to get me and take it. It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. Hmm. Alright, yeah, that was a weird gig, but again, money. Money's money. Did Benny give you any reason to betray you? Did you give any reason for Benny to betray you? How did that happen? Alright, nothing. Let's talk about something else. Fine. Well, seeing as you apparently don't have much in the way of answers for me, let's shift focus and gears to this little, uh, little thing you got going here with the NCR. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Uh... I got no chance at that. I mean, do you have any other suggestions? We try to bribe our way out, but seeing as how Benny didn't pay us yet, that won't happen. And I'm presuming you're not willing to surrender. And face NCR justice? No thanks. I'd rather not spend the next ten years doing hard labor. Well, maybe you shouldn't have attacked him. Could have done that. Um. Maybe just let the hostages go. You may, they'd just probably let you go. Right, and they'd probably give us all medals, too. Never said that. Maybe I should kill a hostage because you wasted my time with this shit. I mean, I could just shoot you and end it all now. Fine, I'll see what the NCR is willing to do. Fine. Oh. Yeah, go on. Alright, well, let's... Let's boost that. And... Can carry more stuff. That doesn't really do me much. I can move faster. Resistant to radiation. Oh, maybe. I like that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Wait. One second here. I think I was waiting on junk no. Hand loader. I can wait. I want quick draw. I'll do that next time. Evening. He... Hello. Don't mind me. Is he dead? Oh. What a shame. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Bandan is not really my type, but, you know, whatever. 
Got me thinking, Boone. Why? Am I going out of my way? So much to help these idiots. Hmm. He's got caught up in a bad situation. I don't know. We'll talk to the lieutenant here, see what he's going to do. I might as well just go in and, uh... Take care of business. Hello. How are the negotiations with the Great Cons going? Funny you should mention that. Um... Hmm. How shall we say this? They weren't exactly willing to cooperate. But... I could... I'm working on it. Very well. Keep me updated. Over here, Boone. We need to chat. Not by the skeletons. Which, there is a... Great abundance of. Um, hmm, yes. Well, as soon as we find a skeleton-free area, we can have a little chat about our go tactics going forward. 